Hey, it's your girl Kiki Ayers with the Red Carpet Report. We're in Universal Studios for the season eight finale of NBC's The Voice. How are you? I'm doing well. Hi. So how's this experience for you? The ups, the downs, just your experience being on The Voice. Um, you know what? It's It's been an incredibly positive experience. Um, going into this, I had never even seen the show, so I wasn't sure what to, what to you know, what it was going to be like. Um, but, uh, but, you know, all the contestants are like a family. Um, everybody that's working on the show has been so incredibly positive. Um, and that's what I love about the show. Now that I know it, it's, it's a show about, you know, building people up and not knocking them down. And, and uh, in my mind, uh, that's, that's like the best thing about it. I've learned so much um, from all the other contestants, from the coaches, from our incredible vocal coach, Trelawney. Uh, it's been an amazing experience, and it's it's got my music in front of a, a lot of people. So, I mean, it's been all good, you know. Just, a few Just a, yeah, no big deal, no big deal. No, it's it's really been amazing, and I'm I'm grateful to all the people at home that have supported me throughout this thing, and and grateful to my family and and to all my friends and community. It's it's been amazing. What's the most memorable experience for the season? Man, there's been so many. Um, you know, I think for me, honestly, um, to to be playing uh, one of one of my songs on the show. Um, was huge for me because I'm a songwriter. That's what I do. That's what I've done for years and years. And uh, to you know, I've I've been here on this singing competition show doing other people's songs. And and so to to, to bring that into the fold to um, to take one of my own songs and present it on the show in front of all these people uh, is just means it really means the world to me. It's it's a really huge thing for me. And uh, and I'm really proud of the show for embracing or, you know original music. Going into tomorrow, do you have anything? Like, how, what's your preparation like? Or are you just gonna try and keep a clear mind? Oh, there's no preparation. The pressure's totally off now. I, I'm honestly, I'm gonna go back to the hotel and and have some dinner with my family. Uh, tomorrow is gonna be the top 20s back. There's some of my best friends. We're gonna hang out. It's it's gonna be a party. It's gonna be really really fun. It's it's like a celebration show really. Um, you know, I don't, I don't honestly, I feel like I've already won a million times over. This whole experience has been amazing. So, pressure's off. We're just going to have a good time with it. Would winning feel more like a shock or more like like you, you earned it and you, you knew it was going to happen? I would be totally shocked. Yeah, but I'll tell you this. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, would be, I would be shocked if I won. Uh, um, but, but, you know, stranger things have happened, uh, you know, um, uh, Adam has been, has been amazing, has been really pushing it, and uh, I feel really proud of the way things went tonight, so, um, you know, nothing is, is, you know, nothing is set in stone at all, but, um, but I'm, I, I will say that I'm really happy for, for where things are laying right now, and I'm just happy to be in the Final Four, it's, it's been an incredible ride. If you had a vote for one of the other contestants, who would you vote for? <laughs> Wow, that's an interesting question. Um, I, you know, honestly, I can't pick. Um, the the three the three the three of them are, are so talented and so so diverse. Um, they're talented in so many different ways. Um, I mean, Corinne has just like this old soul in her. Um, her voice is incredible. It's fierce. Um, Sawyer is the, kind of the same way, you know, but in, in a different kind of genre. Um, he's got this huge voice for a little kid. Um, and is is putting out really beautiful music. And Megan is just like this seasoned professional, who has this amazing raspy voice and is blending these genres so beautifully. So I'm I'm huge fans of all three of them. And uh, whoever whoever takes it home, I'm going to be proud of them. Joshua, you mentioned that you've been in this industry for quite a while. Do you think being on The Voice has changed you as an artist at all? Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, the the biggest way is is. Uh, spending all the time focusing on my voice as an instrument. Uh, I was always the guy in the band that sang because nobody else wanted to. It was like a utility singer, and I saw myself as a songwriter first, and instrumentalist second, and then a singer third. And so, to come out here and to to look at my voice like an instrument, and have Trelawney here, the vocal coach, to like really push that, uh, doing warm ups and 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 scales and and working on my voice. Um, I, I'm like a hundred times the singer I, I was, you know before I, I came out here. And uh, that to me is, is it's worth everything. I mean, it's been amazing. Have you put any thought into after The Voice, would you want to take a break with the fam or heading straight into making an album? No, I, you know, I, I've thought a lot about it. I'm already writing songs uh, about the experience kind of, and uh, I mean, it's, it's definitely been an inspiring experience in a lot of ways. So there'll be an album coming. I'm not sure how, how, um, how soon, but, uh, but you know, I'm gonna, I'm, I've got a back catalog of albums and so, um, I'm going to be doing some touring this summer and, and, uh, and hopefully um, maybe recording an album end of the summer and then touring in the fall. We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. If you like this interview, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe for more of our interviews and leave a comment in the section below letting us know who your favorite contestant was this season. 
बाय